What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we've got another First Shots for you. If you're a Beretta fan, you are in for a treat. Today we have Beretta's 1911. This is the Beretta single action only, the 92X. Now this is the answer to the safety decocker problem that the Beretta has experienced for 40 years or so. They actually came out with a model of this that had a frame safety before it. If you're not familiar with the Beretta 92, they traditionally have a, uh, a slide mounted safety decocker up there. And throughout the history of the use of the Beretta, since the Beretta was the US military pistol for so long, they experienced a lot of issues where they would uh, rack the slide and then put the gun on safe or decock the gun and make the gun inoperable. So now they've decided to put out a single action only using a similar safety that uh, they put on on the 92X Performance. People like that gun, but it was very, very heavy, so they decided to do it with an aluminum frame, and this is kind of the version that you're seeing here, but also single action only. If you're unfamiliar with the Breda 92 at all, and I'm getting right past you here, well, it's normally a double single action gun. This is a single action gun. It comes with a five inch barrel. It has an open top design to it, which is pretty unique compared to most firearms, especially today. The new Berettas have an optics mounting system on there. This one comes with a blacked out rear and a fiber optic front, which is very nice. An uh, light rail, and then obviously kind of this interesting and new single action trigger here. Uh, it comes with two 18 round magazines, an aluminum frame, uh, it only comes in nine millimeter, and it comes for an MSRP of 950, which is considerably more than a lot of popular guns today. The Beretta has kind of fitted into the mold of the Wonder 9, the double stack nine millimeter that kind of came in vogue in the 1980s and kind of changed how we looked at firearms. So the Beretta has been around for a long time and it sort of maintained its slightly higher price tag over its polymer frame striker fired rivals. Now there's good and bad to the Beretta 92, so you kind of have to be a fan in order to enjoy it. However, I am a fan, and one of the reasons why I didn't like the Beretta 92 was in fact the slide mounted safety decocker that they have now gotten rid of for this frame mounted safety, which traditionally I like better. Traditionally, we'll get into that. Uh, some of the other problems that the Beretta 92 has experienced over the years has been also the open top design, which has been unchanged, but they have added some serrations here, which you are gonna need if you put an optic system on here. That way you can rack the gun without interfering with the optic. It is optics ready. However, it does not come with a plate out of the box. However, I hear if you message Beretta, they will send you one of your choice as long as you give them uh, the serial number of the gun and stuff like that. I think that's how it works. However, I do not know. I haven't talked to anybody who's actually got one. It comes with these G10 grips. It has some decent serrations on the front and rear strap, although they're pretty limited, especially considering the $900 price tag. But it does have this very cool two-tone look that they've been doing a lot lately, the gray front with the black on the bottom. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I think this would look even better with like some wood colored grips or wood grips. So I may go that route here in the future. The last Beretta we shot was the Beretta Cheetah. I was not a fan, so hopefully this one changes my mind. However, uh, this frame mounted safety, which I traditionally ride like a CZ75 or a 1911, 2011, stuff like that. If it has a frame mounted safety, often or not, you can ride it with your thumb as a recoil control device. But this one, it has this uh, hump here that I'm not loving. Part of that is the grip right here, as you can see, that's very uncomfortable. I'm not sure why they would put a beaver tail and then a big point right here. But then they also have another point from the metal frame right there that's been digging into my hand. So what I'm gonna have to do is probably change my grip again, classic Beretta, and I'm probably gonna have to try to hold my hand out a little bit and run my hand under the frame safety. The problem with running your hand under the frame safety is you run into all those problems that trainers talk about that don't know how to shoot guns with frame safeties because if you run your thumb under the frame safety during recall it can push the frame safety back on so it's always better to ride it because it keeps the gun in action and it also keeps it better recoil control however you can't really do that unless you maybe dremel this off which i actually might do we'll see that being said let's not worry about perceived problems let's go down and shoot it and find out whether it actually shoots well or not or whether it's comfortable or not before we do that though i want to mention my patron supporters thank you guys very much we purchased this gun with the patron dollars and i appreciate that if you want to support the channel that's the best way to do it just go to the link in the description below and sign up also in that description is a local shelter names iowa it's the yss those kids could really use your help so please get on there and donate to those kids all right so we'll try it out here first shot at we're about 50 yards I think we should be able to hit here. I'm pretty familiar with an uh, M9 platform, and it does traditionally shoot pretty well, and the single action trigger on this actually does feel pretty good. Woo! Yeah, 
that thing hurts. That thing's biting the shit out of me. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go down and change my grip again, just like on the last Beretta video, and I don't like that. That being said, that might not be an issue that you experience, but it's an issue that I'm definitely experiencing currently. It's very uncomfortable. And then if I do that, I lose my recoil control, so that sucks. Yep, same situation. I wonder if people in Italy have really small hands. Man, that thing's biting the crap out of me. Look at that line it's putting on my hand already. Hold on. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't take your skin off like... Like the last one did? Yeah, it ripped my skin right off. I wonder if I can keep my left hand up but kind of put my... See, the problem is I literally can't get my thumb out of the way. Can you see that? Yep. Because that's what's getting me right there, that little nub. Yep. And that's from the grip. Yep. So I can't... I can't get out of the way unless I go under, and then under recoil I could pop that on, which mm. I don't like. Also, if I put my thumb down here like this, I have no space for my support hand, and my support hand is where all my recoil control comes from. Yep. Yeah, I hate shooting like that. Yeah, this sucks. You can shoot it. I don't want to shoot this. Well, you shot it really well. It's just your hands, I think. Yep. Because I, I got teeny hands, so it doesn't bother me at all. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's why it was just a big hand thing. That's the most uncomfortable gun I've ever shot. Aside, I mean, for a nine millimeter, and I was like, man, I bet Larray will shoot this well. All right, I'm moving back a teeny bit. We're at 25 here. Okay. Oh, now I suck. got me sexy gun with a sexy girl though oh god <laughs> stop it you're shooting it well i, I i'm glad i handed that I thing like to you because sometimes it really it's the eye of the beholder you know what yeah, i mean yep hit that uh dueling tree i suck at the dueling tree normally well you hit one Slow down. There you go. Shooting a little low. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to look cool. Ready? Yeah. Damn, girl. <laughs> okay, so first impressions of this for me was not good. Uh, not because the gun performed poorly, not because it was unreliable or inaccurate, but simply due to one big ergonomic deficiency for me. And that is gonna be the dual safeties on the back uh, mixed with, for some reason, the buildup on the uh, grip there caused uh, this little point here to pop me right in the joint of my thumb and most times I can deal with it like, even like the Beretta Cheetah was bleeding afterward it was no problem but this for some reason was hit me like right on like a nerve or something and it hurt really bad every time I shot it so I was just like eh screw it I don't want to shoot this but it's not really a fair review because I'm not normal sized so I figured to let me wife I me wife <laughs> figured to let me wife shoot it some fucking Irish came out and uh, <laughs> and uh, I'll let you uh, talk about it here in a second but the couple things that I noticed where I like the sights the recoil and pulse was good aside from getting bumped in the finger uh, the trigger feels good the pad of the trigger feels good it's very unique very interesting it's not quite a flat face not quite curved very strange very Beretta and uh, overall I felt like the gun performed well reliably you shot 100 rounds through it with no issues and uh, it did pretty well other than being very uncomfortable for me. However, if I 
I noticed that in the gun shop, in all fairness, if I was buying this just for me and not for review, I probably wouldn't have picked this up, basically because I had a kind of a feeling it was going to do that. That's why we had a backup plan in my cute little wife here, so we'll have her shoot, or we'll have her tell you what she thinks. I had a lot of fun shooting it. I have small hands, as I already stated. It didn't bother me at all. The beaver tail and the back of the grips did not bother me. I felt like I was able to keep it on target relatively well. I did have a couple of misses, but overall, I felt really badass shooting it. I don't hate it. It feels really good. It's not something I would carry because it's heavy and it's 33 ounces aluminum frame. It's not too heavy. It's but not too heavy, but it's obviously heavier than a polymer polymer framed pistol. Um, but I liked it. Well, good. Pretty if good. you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to cycle. I'll check you later. Recycle, but it's good.